what we've seen the immediate changes or the, the good benefits that we're seeing immediately are whether students would come with uh, water from home to school for their own use at school uh, whereas the teachers would walk six to seven kilometers from uh, t from the, their homes to Zambezi River and back to get water. Now they can get it at the opening of a, uh, of a tap in, in their home, in their backyard. Um, so those are some of the immediate benefits that we see. But in the long term, we know that there are some more ripple benefits in terms of girls' hygiene, in terms of uh, gender equality, in terms of women going to get water and so on. <coughs> so, so in terms of water, uh, the communities, um, the first benefit, first and foremost benefit is just getting clean water. Uh, previously, they would uh, walk to the Sambezi River uh, long distances from one kilometer, some even up to uh, 10 kilometers. So that just, just that reduction in the distance that they have to walk to get water is the biggest benefit. The second biggest benefit is getting clean water to the doorstep. Um, it reduces the incidence of uh, disease uh, in the area. This, uh, uh, all of this work that is happening here is happening under a project that we're calling the Climate Adaptation Water and Energy Program, uh, which has been generously funded by the UK government's FCDO. Uh, and we have received so much tremendous support from the government of Zimbabwe. And of course the implementation on the ground is happening um, uh, together with many partners, but it's being implemented by, by UNDP. Uh, the, the broad idea is to make sure in Zimbabwe no one is left uh, behind. Uh, that's why we picked Binga as one of the areas, uh, because uh, we realize that uh, a lot of work needs to, to happen just to bring uh, social amenities closer to, to, to home. Uh, and the target, uh, SD, the main SDGs that we are hoping to uh, accelerate achievement in this area would be SDG uh, 6, which has to do with clean water and sanitation, SDG 7, which has to do with renewable energy, SDG 2, which has to do with zero hunger, um, SDG 1, after all has been put together, um, we hope that we reduce or totally um, remo uh, re uh, remove uh, poverty from, from the house. Of work um, that we had here um, was to improve on the raw water uptake um, at, at, at the river. So we have increased our capacity. Uh, it's now pumping 80 equips an hour, but the pumps will be running, um, two of them will be running at the same time, because the other 80 equips an hour is going to the irrigation field. Then uh, at the treatment plant, of course, um, there is um, some rehabilitation which has taken place. The treatment plant itself uh, was rehabilitated. Our valves which were not working, they were um, replaced. Um, the station was also rescinded um, to make sure that um, the quality of water uh, is good. Then at the treatment plant, um, some a small solar array was also installed there to make sure that um, uh, the pumps at the premium plant they are also pumping using solar as well as electricity. So the two pumps at the um, the pumps at the premium plant they alternate between um, solar uh, and electricity. Then from the premium plant um, as well, in terms of clear water, uh, water is now gravitating to this middle booster where we are standing. There has been an addition of pumps that has been uh, installed uh, in the middle of booster to make sure that uh, water reaches all the higher points uh, in the reticulation. Then there is, as well, there was also um, a reticulation extension uh, from this middle of booster uh, in the areas to Zambezi, uh, areas to Siandundu, um, and our last uh, connection, which is close to Siachilawa. Uh, then on the um, right side, which is Saba, we had already an existing uh, infrastructure which we had, but um, we looked at the system in such a way that the new uh, reticulation that was uh, put up, it looked up with our old reticulation. So water is accessible um, everywhere. Um, there's uh, a water tank uh, which was constructed uh, at the treatment plant. Um, which is uh, making sure that the irrigation stream was water. And um, here at the middle of Busa, where we are standing, uh, we have um, <clears throat> pumps which are pumping to the 20 hectare irrigation and to the 4 by 1 hectare uh, nutritional gardens, where uh, our villagers are having their nutritional um, gardens. What we used to have uh, here in Lewis, um we used to have a 60, uh, it's still a 60 cubes an hour, but it was not run 
for full capacity. Yeah, so with the introduction of this project, um, the treatment plant is now running on full capacity, which is now 60 cubes an hour. Right, we used to have um, a pump here which was boosting water from the treatment plant to Sianzundu and Sava and Sambes. So our the capacity of our pump was not that good to reach all the intended communities. So with the introduction of this project, um, we have added pumps um, which, have, which we added additional capacities uh, as well as adding another storage tank uh, at Zambezi. So basically what it means is water is now reaching as many people as possible in, the, in these um, three words which are uh, Sava, Mlimiz uh, and Siachilao. Then, um, um, you know, this site is much affected by, um, by power supply. So you would see that most of the times you would not have power. So with the introduction of this project, as you can see, during the day, we have plenty of sunshine on this side and um, we will be pumping water to the consumers using solar. So um, the pumps which we have seen uh, in that pump house, um, some are run on solar and some are run on, on electricity. So in terms of where there is sunlight, we will be using our solar. Then in the evening, um, where there is no sun, we will be switching on to electricity. This project has made sure that at any given time, um, everyone has access to water.